My research is about the mechanisms that sort of shape fear and anxiety across development. So that's very, very broad. But more specifically, I'm interested in the perceptual and cognitive sort of mechanisms that shape our emotional behavior. And I'm, the reason why I'm interested in perceptual mechanisms is I'm really interested in how where babies look for emotional information, what they see, how that kind of, how the input that they get from the emotional world shapes what they know about emotions and then shapes their own emotional behavior. What uh, baby is in what age range? Starting really young, like starting at four months, but all the way up to, you know, I study preschoolers as well. So I study infants from four months old to, you know, three to five year old. Oh, so I would guess, you know, obviously for the four month olds, hopefully their stimuli is coming from their parents and hopefully it's good. But what, um, you know, let's start at that end of the range and then go up to preschool. But like, what are you studying? What kind of uh, stimuli is common that affects you know, babies of that age? Yeah. So right now I'm studying how they attend to positive versus negative emotions. And these are usually photographs of people posing for like happy faces and angry faces, for example. So I study how they process this information over time, how that changes over time and how the environment shapes that change. For example, if you're used to getting lots lots of positive emotions in your environment. So you're used to lots of smiling faces, a lot of positive information. How does that shape the, the way you perceive positive and negative information? And likewise, let's say you're getting different kinds of emotional input, like from an anxious mom or a depressed mom. How does that shape the way you scan emotional faces and what you come to learn about them? Oh, so what have you noticed in babies, you know, young ones, four months old, six months old, what kind of inputs give them what kind of, uh, you know, I guess, personality or or these other abilities you're talking about? Yeah, so the reason I'm interested in this is, is other research, including my own, has found that older children and adults who are socially anxious are really fast to pro to um, detect threatening faces, for example. So researchers have asked whether this is something, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? So is it that anxious people are preferentially looking at things that negative social information or negative facial expressions in the environment? Or or is it that at a young age, infants who are biased to look at these things are the ones that are more prone to develop anxiety? So that's what I'm really, really interested in.